What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon, the crypto universe. Today is Monday, December 12th. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about a new NFT collection that's going to be minting on Solana. And that is called Out of Nowhere, which is a new NFT collection minting on December 15th. In this video, I just want to describe to you why this NFT collection is actually on my radar. I'm going to give a huge shout out to an infamous one-on-one -on -one artist. His name is Carl, who has amazing collections on exchange art, but he mentioned this NFT collection to me and I just did my research and I'm like, you know what? This could be actually something really interesting. And I actually want to share it to you, my viewers out there to best be prepared to understand what they are building. So as always, be sure to watch this video throughout its entirety. Stick around to the very end to hear my conclusion and statement around this collection. And as always, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful to any of the scammers down in the comments below. I'll never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct message or email so please be careful and invest safely so guys and girls let's get right into it so if you haven't already be sure to go to out of nowhere nft that's their actual official twitter page and you'll find a lot of different tweets down here but i'm going to make it really short and sweet for you and i'm going to make it really easy for you to understand so what is this collection all about you need to understand that number one let's focus on the artwork the artwork is actually quite phenomenal it's a bit of uh, pixelated anime artwork that has some motion graphics to it now what i love about this artwork is that each one is very unique within itself like say for instance this one has a very unique crown but a lot of motion graphics in it and look at this one the next one this one has actually has no face but again this actually is looking into the void that's what they're kind of saying in this pfp right here but not only that let's look at this pfp which is actually my favorite one this is called the two-faced pfp PFP. Now, this entity has two faces because it has so many different traits within it, and it's definitely a scary one. I hope that I can mint this one specifically because, as you can see, each one of these different PFPs seems like it has its own rarity. But don't worry, there's a lot more to these PFPs later on. But also, check out this one. This one's maybe a one on one. Maybe this is the only one on one artwork of its kind, or maybe this is a very limited supply of these robot. PFPs within the circulating supply. And so again, I cannot deny that this is something that I think even Ethereum community members or Ethereum investors or venture capitalists may look into this and be like, you know, these are, could accrue in value over time. But again, this is just my opinion. There's not financial advice. It's just for your own entertainment. But that's just what I see when looking at these different artworks. Now, maybe you're wondering what's kind of the roadmap. What are we expecting to see with this PFP collection? Now, they always call it the road of the void, which is another way of saying roadmap. And really, this is us kind of ascending to this void. So we're all kind of ascending to this mysterious place, the void, and we should await what that's going to happen. So if we look at it here, we got to look at the parallel universes, right? We got to understand where this is kind of taking us. And what it's saying is, in our world, the actions of each person have an impact on everyone's future, an impact that is often irreversible. Now, at the moment, one makes a choice, A or B. Two distinct worlds are created, the first in which one has made choice A and the other where one has made choice B. Each action, although insignificant in itself, deforms the time, space, and determines the path that the world will follow. Out of nowhere brings together characters from a multitude of parallel universes, worlds intermingled, civilizations are more or less advanced, living beings more or less human, worlds are governed by all sorts of different rules, it is the multiverse. What I love about this is the storytelling, the lore within this NFT collection. That really counts because it's all about experience. But it also talks about how we have to unite as a community, right? Then the, the reason we talk about this is because you need to make sure that your community is not lost within your NFT collection. That's what kind of happens with NFT collections that have no um, value that have no story, they tend to lose their followers and that actually affects the floor price. And this slide right here, they're basically saying that the most quality thing that you need to know, what I think is really important is that they portray that the artwork is the most important thing, not over promising, making sure that you're delivered a huge multitude of different things. They're making sure that the number one thing that you need to focus on is the artwork. You need to love the artwork. Everything else that happens after that will be a lot easier. And also there's a less expectation for them to do something much bigger because if they laid down their whole entire roadmap, if they laid down all these expectations, then if they don't deliver, then it actually kind of hurts both parties, right? The creators and the investors. So that's really cool. And they're gonna build that community very strongly. And also last but not least, but let's go ahead and talk about the visuals. Again, okay, I showed you a few PFPs, but here's more of them, more of these PFPs. As you can see, each one 
very, very unique of itself, right? And these are big, big changes, I think, in the whole PFP landscape, right? We're all talking about how your artwork can stand alone from something else. As you can see, we have the void, we have a TV screen, we even have uh, like a black hole warping side, and then we also have angels pulling away the face. Again, there's so many different traits here. Again, I definitely think that the floor price of these could reach well above 10 to 15 Solana. And that's just my own point of view, right? That's not anything that's based on statistical charting, but I've been in this space for a while. And I just feel like this type of artwork, if it does deliver the way that it does like right here in these visuals, then it's absolutely gonna skyrocket in price. And we'll see how that goes once the minting launches. Now also, we gotta talk about how much it is important for the community to stay engaged, right? So they have a hub that consists in gathering various possibilities of interaction with the community of the project, which brings advantages to the holder of the NFT. Different automations, pre-made tweets, tweets to raid, community tweets, they're basically, they wanna make sure that holders gain access to the OON ecosystem so that it's not just you own a PFP, but you're being a part of a community by interacting with each other. So there's a website, which I'll show you at the very end, and it's not complete yet, but that website is gonna be the main hub for your NFTs to be kind of deposited or staked in some way, or maybe even not even staked, basically a place where you get to be part of a leadership board, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Now further down, let's talk about the token. Now this is called the series token or series token. Now this token is gonna to be something that you can earn. And this token will allow you to have a lot of different benefits, right? You can have exclusive NFT attributes, whitelists of partner projects, titles, so forth, so on. But this token is really important. And what I love about it is that later on down the slide, you can actually talk about where you can use that token. These tokens can be used to buy things on the marketplace. And these are the attributes. You can buy clothes, hats, eyes, hair, whatever you want by just using this token. So basically you don't have to spend hard earned dollars to buy these things. You can simply just add different attributes. Something like say for instance, your hair, your eyes, this is exactly what it's gonna look like. And you can you know, obviously use your tokens like 100 for this or 50 for that, 20 for that. Those are, that's kind of how it works. But the most important thing is that they don't want you to spend hard earned money. And you can even create your ID on the website. You can even introduce yourself by having a description of your NFT and the different badges that you earn. But again, like I wanna reinstate, you don't have to spend money. You don't have to spend additional money to buy these attribute traits. The whole point is that they're trying to start their own marketplace. So you can use the series token and use that token to buy these attributes and enhance the rarity of your actual NFT. And then they have things like this, which is the leadership board, which basically if you interact with people, maybe if you interact more on Twitter and help you know, spread the word about this collection, the more your recognition is in this space of the out of nowhere NFT ecosystem. So I thought that was really cool. Again, they're absolutely doing something different. And I think that's absolutely something that you need to check out if you haven't already joined their Twitter page. Now, something recently happened within the past 48 hours, and they actually did a free mint. So on their website, which you can click here, but it's no longer available because the mint's already done. People were allowed to freely mint for free 1000 orbs. This was out of nowhere. There was no announcement, and this is what we love about this. It's just kind of a, a thing you need to keep in mind is that this storytelling out of nowhere does these spontaneous things, and that's how engaged you have to be, right? And some people were you know, at the right time at the right place, and some people showed up late. But regardless, the 1,000 orbs minted, and we don't know what these orbs are gonna be used for, but they said that they're gonna be used later on down the road. Only one or was available per person, but some people decided to pick it up on secondary, such as myself. So when this orb came up on Magic Eden, keep in mind, Magic Eden literally was listing these roughly around 0.25 Solana, and there are around roughly 50 of these NFTs, maybe even 20, it wasn't that many. And then it jumped up to 1.5 Solana, just to show you the supply and demand of these orbs. But again, these orbs are gonna be used later on down the road. And if we go to hyperspace, hyperspace has listed these orbs as number five in terms of the total trading volume in the total entire ecosystem within hyperspace, maybe even the whole Solana market. So that means that if these orbs are getting that much traction compared to lilies, you know, claynosaurs, D gods, utes, ovals, amongst these big dogs, even above, traded above, Utes mint to, that means there's something there. So if that's trading for literally 1.5 Solana, imagine the PFPs themselves. So keep that in mind, this mint is coming soon. Now, if we look at the chart on Soul Sniper, you can see that there is still an ascending trend. That means that people buying these, and you can see the buying volume is still there. 
it's still there, it's still growing. So can we see this to the upside? We will see later on down the road. Now, this, like I said, is minting on December 15th. So you need to make sure that your funds are ready. Now, this is a whitelist mint, but also if there aren't any people buying these on the whitelist, then maybe possibly the rest will be minted publicly. We don't know as of right now. We even have Patty Ice, who's a part of the DGods community, who I follow, has 27,000 followers, is following this. It's always good to see other people that I know, that I respect in this space, follow a collection like this, and that's very huge. Now, this is the actual website. You can do a whitelist check, so you basically enter your wallet, you do the whitelist check to see if you're actually available, then if you want to learn more, you can click on the roadmap, which is basically the white paper, and that'll tell you if you're ready or not. So guys, let's go ahead and conclude this video. So right now, what you need to do is when you go to the Twitter page of Adam Nora NFT, you need to join their Discord. You need to engage and stay a part of this community on Discord because that's where we were just informed about these orbs before anybody else did. And also, you can find out how you can get whitelisted because again, today is December 12th and the minting is on December 15th. So you literally have around three days before this mints. So do your best to get whitelisted for this as much as possible. So keep that in mind. In my perspective, this is not a mint to lose. And if you cannot join the whitelist mint, please watch it on the secondary market on December 15th. Pay attention to that. Because right now, what we do know is that the fluctuation between the floor price of these things could go up or high. But regardless, the whitelist payment for this is 2.99 Solana. When it becomes public, it's 3.99 Solana. Right now, the supply is around 1,961 from my understanding. And that's because it's out of 8,000. So this minting process could be just the first 1,961. And then there's maybe more mints happening later down the road. But again, this could fluctuate. It could be 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. We don't know at this very moment. But again, if you're in early, then you're gonna be the first people to be a part of this. Now, let me ask you this question. Are you gonna enter the void? That's the most important thing. So either way, I think this is an absolute steal in my opinion. So guys, let me know down in the comments what you think of out of nowhere. Are you paying attention to this? Are you waiting to see what happens? Are you gonna buy in the secondary market? Are you gonna avoid this? Are you gonna accumulate as much as you can? I wanna hear your comments down below on YouTube and on Twitter, and I cannot wait to show you more once this releases down the road. And we'll make more videos about this collection as this rolls out. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Cryptolution. Join our Patreon page for all our private alpha calls, investment strategies, and one-on-one -on -one consultations in the link below. Limited spaces are available, so be sure to reserve your spot today. Invest safely and we'll see you on the next episode of Cryptolution.